Whoops. <coughs> All right, I think I'm live now. <coughs> We're done. Shut it. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. And these stinking cords. Jeez, please. Okay. So, I want to make <coughs> a clothespin bag, which I think is going to be nice because it's homemade. Hi, Rajul. And first things first, I have this coat hanger that is a swivel one, and I think that's going to be best for my clothespin bag. So I'm going to work this in and sew this, this clothespin or close, this clothes hanger. Um, I did shorten it. It's a piece of wood. I don't know where I got it from, but I've had it for years. So I cut it down because it was way too big and I want my bag to be about this big. I want to have a magnetic flap on my bag so that when I close the bag, the flap will close. So I'm not going to do anything too fancy, just basically a bag with a little thing in there so we can get our hands in it. Basically, that's all I'm doing. And I'm just using one fabric, this one. I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a coordinating fabric. I don't know, we'll see. Hmm. So, Now I'm just going to make it out of this. This is just um, some stabilizer. All my pieces left over and I'm just going to use up these leftover pieces so I'm not wasting any fabric and any uh, pieces. So, wow, these glasses are pretty dirty. <coughs> How are you, Rajul? Alright, let's make Let's make a close pin bag. So, I don't know. This is already all nicely cut. I am thinking I need to make it a good size to fit my clothes pins. We definitely need it to make it wide enough that this is closed in in the flat part. This is what's going to hold up my bag. So, I'm going to just cut it here. That's going to be, I'll tell you in a minute, at the 10 mark. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14 inches. That's all right. We'll do 14 inches. We will cut a 14 inch bag. So I'm just cutting off a 14 inch piece of fabric. Ta-da. For now. So we are going to need a liner. You know what Kiki is? So I have two pieces here. Actually. Because we are going to need a liner. I'm good, Rajul. I'm really good, thanks. So, I just want to decide how big I want the back of it to be. So this is actually going to be a flap. I think this is a good size right here. Because this is going to get closed in on the sides. And I'm just going to kind of box it. I don't want it too big. Actually, I don't even want it that big. I want it just about that big. That's a good size. 
Mm -hmm. So I need to cut both of these pieces the same because one's going to be the liner. <clears throat> the lining. And one's going to be the outside. So the bag's just basically going to be the same all the way around. <clears throat> it's going to get trimmed down some. This will actually be the last thing I install. <clears throat> And I got some magnets, because I'm using magnets to um, So we need to decide. Oops, I gotta turn this around. One of them's gotta be out one way and one's gotta be the other way. Hi Cynthia, hi Ren Rachel. Um sure you can, Clint. You can call me. I'll take your call. <clears throat> Just hang on a minute. I gotta get off the phone with Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, I gotta go. Okay, Clint, call me. Call you, Clint? Mm. I need to charge this phone. Hi, Clint. Hi, Clint. Hi. Make sure you pause my video sure so I don't get my hearing feedback. I'm hearing feedback. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you good. Just I can hear you good. I still hear my video, though. Still hear my video, though. All right. Okay, so our bag's going to be like oh, this. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I have to plug my phone in. Yeah, I have to plug my phone in. What are you making today, Ruby? What? What? What are you making? I am making a close. I am out. making a close. Clint, you got to turn the video Clint, down or something. It's really oh, sorry. Yeah, some I'm hearing myself yeah, talking. I'm hearing Hold on, let me get my headphones on. That's probably, that a That's probably a good idea. Okay. So, no. let's trim off the salvage. Let's trim off the salvage. Clint, Clint. you got to fix that. Got to fix that. salvage. I don't want to work with that. Now, let's make our is that, pin bag. Is that, is that better? Um, hello, hello, hello. Yes, much better. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. So, I'm thinking that's a good size. Right there. To there. Yep. And now we need a flap. What is that beeping noise, Clint? Uh, I got my earphones on and and post the air is on in the house and everything. Okay. 
All right, so I'm going to trim this down. Yeah, this is too long. <coughs> take off about four inches. Alright. Now let me have a look at this. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Clint, are you messaging people? Because I'm hearing some beeping. No, I ain't messaging nobody. Okay. It's really weird noises. Oh. Hey, Dee, are, are you on StreamYard? Extreme Labs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Streamlabs, I can't add people. Okay. Now, we need to round this part here. So this is going to be the flap. Going to make a mark with my pencil. <sighs> Let's go down four inches and make a mark there. Let's go over here four inches. Make a mark there. And then basically just rough it. Like so. That's how you do it. Okay, so there's my flap. Pretty rounded. They're square in Okay, so that's that part. Now, this part here, we have to make an opening for our hands to go in here. So I'm going to do five inches here, I think. No, I think I'll stick with the four. Yeah, four. Four and a half. No, four. We'll do four. Oh, whoops. Not that part. I almost did it wrong, guys. This one, this side. Four here. And four here. Baby Chase is here. And now this one is going to go this way. have a look at what that looks like. <clears throat> I kind of like that little V shape. Looks good to me. So basically this will be a bag with the flap. Oh, it's got to come down some. It is too big. There we go. So there. 
with the flap here. I really don't like this. I don't like it at all. So I'm going to trim it off. That's a lot better. Okay, so I want my flap to overlap like that. So there's my clothes pin bag idea. Hi, baby! Hi, sweetheart! What you got? Oh, for Grandma? Yes, yes, yes. Mass. Mass. Oh, thank you for the coffee, baby. <laughs> thank you. Coffee. 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 All right. I think I will fix this too. That's good. Now, do I want to keep this a V shape? I think I do. But I think it needs to come down more. And I really prefer it to be rounded, not V shaped. So I think I'm just going to roughly draw. A rounded shape. Rainbow. Rainbow? Yeah, I kind of like that. Did you give me a sissy cutter? No. That's for you to keep. And those scissors. They're Rainbow. like this. Oh, but Don't you cut my paper. What are you making? Clothes pin bag. Oh. That's a nice, comfy-looking dress. Can I have it? Yep. I can have that baby, too. She's so frustrated with the baby not coming yet. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, cut this out. You still with me, Clint? Baby Chase, what are you doing, my little love? Are you watching Paw Patrol? Hi, Diane. Okay, cause... I just don't want to be reaching deep into a clothespin bag if you guys catch my drift. So I don't want it where I really have to go and dig in there. So I think I'm going to box these corners too when I get this sewn. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. is why these cords are annoying me. This will be in the top. Holding it. I'm just checking to see if it's a good size. Looks like a good size. Face all of this. Uh, what, sweetheart? <clears throat> Make 
actually I think I'm going to cut these corners out right now because that's going to give me exactly where I need to go. So I cleaned all your sew machine, mm -hmm. I gave you a new needle, and I put a tape on it, but if you're doing any diagonals, you line that diagonal up with the line, the red line and the tape. Oh, I'm a real beginner now. No, I have it on mine too. Oh. All right then. So. You'll be getting these two, uh, two rulers. You'll be getting that cutting mat and another cutting mat that Why? swivels. Because I have new ones coming. <clears throat> what do you want, babe? No, you got some goldfish there. You just had a tin bit. All right. So, I'm just dis trying to decide if I'm going to... <clears throat> Detach the flap or not. What's wrong with your fishy crackers? Hmm. I think I will detach the flap for now and work with just the bottom. <clears throat> I gotta think for a minute. Uh, do I want to do that? Think, think, think. So if I take the flap, eventually it will have to be sewn back on. I don't think I'm going to detach it, but what I am going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to mark out. I am going to mark on both sides where this is going to fold. It's all one piece. I like that. Let's get some interfacing in this baby. So yeah, you're going to get these two rulers. Um, I gave you a rotary cutter. You're getting that cutting mat and that swivels. Now, the bottom part of this is the only part I want with the stabilizer in it, the thicker stuff. So it's got to, it's got to get on this side, it's got to get some of this uh, fleece. So let's check out if I have enough here. It's something I can make quick for Margaret for her birthday. For her birthday, when's her birthday? Friday. What, what, what would she like? Oh, I don't know. How about a pillow? Okay, so we're going to go quarter inch away, quarter inch away. 
on all saints. Okay, and what I cut up here. Okay. What about outdoor pillows? You need There's outdoor fabric. One. You don't have any? No. Fabricland had it for six bucks. I'm not going back there. No. Nope. Ever again. <laughs> That's why I order stuff online. I don't want to deal with them. Okay, so I'm going to do a quarter inch away from here. Hi, sweetheart. What do you want, baby? Cookies. What's he saying? Cookies. There's his Teddy Grahams. And he doesn't need cookies every time he comes here. Well, I know he doesn't, but he's asking. Don't be a mean mother. Because he knows he gets them. He's being a mean mother. He doesn't eat anything but junk these days. Because he's Where? getting at that age now. Well, I don't approve of that. Well, good luck trying to stop him. Those are teddy bear cookies with chocolate in them. Oh, I bet you he wants those ones Jeff That's gave exactly him. That's exactly what he wants. No. He can eat these ones. Life's not about cookies and juice. <laughs> When's the last time you drank water? Why? Iron that on in a minute as soon as I cut this out because I have to put an extra piece at the top since this was shorter. <clears throat> Pure effect. And then I'm going to do the other side with a thicker interfacing with a more. Are you live? Yep, a wider or thicker interfacing. Trim this down, down. Just to have it nice and thick there. My fleece pieces came in handy. That way I'm not wasting. And I like that. Okay, I'm going to get this pressed on here. Hi, baby. All right. Okay, you're doing that one? Here. Yeah, would it be easier to just make it in strips? And then that's the only the way you can do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so give me, give me two pieces close together. Start with the bottom. Always start at the bottom. How come there's two here? Oh, flip that around. You got that upside down. That's an extra roll because I couldn't fit it on the design board. Yes. <laughs> Were you riding your bike? Okay, grab those first two pieces. Now, when you sew these together, pin them because these are all biased. Okay. So line that up with that. These all should see this flat ends. Mm -hmm. They should line up there and they should line up there. And you're going to need pins. I have some here. I'll just, I only need these ones. Okay, so put two pins in it. And then when we press them, like when this gets pressed, one row of the seams have to be pressed this way, the other half 
that way so you can melt, melt, marry them together. So you get nice, perfect squares. Okay? Do you got that, my girl? Mm -hmm. Good. Hi, baby. You're sneaking over here. I see you. Do you see what I made yesterday? Look. Look. You made that in one day. And yes. you of it. Yep. Yep, but it has to be, Jeff has to move the straps. Okay. These are my magnets. I just don't want to disturb this. You want more, you have to ask mommy because grandma's going to just get in trouble. I always get in trouble giving you snacks. Mommy just yells at grandma. Yes. <laughs> grandma. Okay, get out of here, piggy. Go. Actually, mommy will put them out here. They're on the table. Okay. No, I've lost. It did move, so lost my two pieces. Where's the other one? I see one. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. It's on the floor. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Perfect. So this one went here. And where did the other one go? Over here. I think it went that way. Can you put these somewhere you can't see them? Like in your, in your cooking basket? Cookies are all gone. You ate them all. Piggy. You are not a good liar. All gone. All in chase of jelly. Mm. Look, they're all gone. Just the crackers are there. Okay. On this red line? Oh, the diagonals. <coughs> Mom, you didn't even come this very straight. Just saying. Hey, yes, babe. What you got? I'd like to put sunscreen on him since he's obsessed. What is that? Sunscreen? Oh. I thought it was whipped cream. <laughs> is that sunscreen or whipped cream? What are you doing? Okay. Now I'm going to flip it over. Oh, God. Oh, gone. Oh, gone. What? What? <clears throat> My phone died, I guess, Clint. It must not be plugged in. I don't know what's going on with it. <coughs> no, my phone's not dead. Oops. What happened, Clint? Hello, 
again. Sorry about that. What happened? I still hit the um, end button. Stop playing with your phone. Yes, mother. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so. <clears throat> that is perfect. So I have literally ironed off my lines, but it don't really matter. Because I have these here as my as my measurements. Okay. So now on this other side here. We're just going to flip it over and see how much room there is. Up. Oh, my lines are still there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to iron some heavy interfacing on there. On this one here. Is this right? What, Cass? Maybe I went over too much. Well, what do you mean? Let me see. No, as long as you line those up. So the next one, you're going to line up there. I know, and but the... shouldn't the point... No, that is perfect because the box, when the box is built... Oh, it'll you... get trimmed? This isn't getting trimmed off. But this that is should, because quarter... the points should all be to, at the together you know what I mean like the gray the black and the white should all match up no yeah Cass you need a quarter inch seam on the outside to sew that oh yeah yeah okay you're that's gonna what lose I meant. it yes <clears throat> okay so I need to cut two pieces so this one here I'm going to cut for this one And then, then check it out. Yeah. for this piece, I'm going to cut a hole. This whole thing is going to be done in a, a heavy interfacing. Okay, so let's measure like that. Clint, are you getting messages? No. Oh, why is your phone making those noises? Beep, like, biddle it, it. What is it? I don't it? know what's going on with my, I don't know what's going on with it. Oh. Well, just hold it and talk. Don't, don't do anything. See, there it goes again. Is that better? Sure. So I can see where I need to cut this off now. Okay, so there's our heavy interfacing. And it is fusible, so. All right, I'm gonna cut this one out first. Okay, I'm hearing myself, Claire. Yeah, I'm hearing myself. I'm here. Okay, turn it. Okay, turn it off the video, or put your headphones on. Or put your headphones on. All right, hold on. All right. Okay. I think I cut that too short. And I did. Oopsies. That's okay. Uh, I, uh, Clint. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Ask mommy the blue bubbles, mommy will fill it up. Or the green bubbles out of the bag, mommy will fill it up for you. Oh. 
over. No, I'm not having any luck. Who's that? That's Chase. Aw. Uh, hi, Chase! <laughs> Oh, you're trying to drown your bubbles? Wow! <laughs> Look at those bubbles! <laughs> Way to go, champion! Oh, He looks like me when I was little. Get out of here. Alright, now. This part is good. I want it flush here because that's basically where we're going to have some holes. And where's that little piece I cut? She has some of your gun. Here. Okay. That's good for that, I think. Good enough. Okay, I'm going to iron this down, but I need a piece of fabric on it. How old is he, Ruby? He's two. Aww. He's just two. Good morning, Phyllis. Go. Hi, Phyllis. Yeah, come up. There you go, monkey bum. Oh, oh. Are you a monkey bum? Chase is a monkey bomb. <laughs> he's got a bubble gun and he's blowing bubbles everywhere. Aww. It's too cute. Too cute. Aww. What have you been working on, Clint? I am actually going to make some dolls. Oh, like dye dye make? Yeah, but I got these wooden bases that have, um, they're kind of like bowling pins, but they're wooden, and I'm going to make clowns out of them. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Yeah, I've got everything now. I just need to get the rest of the stuff out and get it all sorted and put on the table and everything, and I'll be ready to get crafting. So, I am going to put... Got my, uh, I got my uh, table by the wall so I can plug it in in the um, outlet now. Oh, nice. And then I got my bed next to the wall so I can go to the door because every, every once in a while I get up and try to go to the bathroom and I run into the closet door. I'm like, no, that's not the bathroom. I'm supposed to go out the other way. Oh, <laughs> cool. When are you going to start making your dolls? Probably sometime today. Start making them and then put them on video and uh, show them to everybody. Nice. I don't know why these aren't lining up sideways. Well, they should. They're all cut. I don't know what they're doing. Whoa. Okay, are you turning these around? I'm following the pattern on the board. Okay, so gray, black, gray, and should be a white next or light gray. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry about this. But shouldn't it be the same lengths? Yes, they all should be. Give me the next one, Cass. Well, <laughs> if you're finding they're not 100%, just even it out the distance between each. 
So you're not overhanging on large on one side or the other. Okay. Like you did over here. This one is overhanging too much. So in that case. Let's take it out then and I'll redo it. Yeah. Yeah, you went over here too much with the gray. That gray sticking out. But not as much as the black is sticking out on the but other But that side. little bit mattered. So take it out. Not on mommy. Oh, see, you got bubbles all over that. Here you go. Yeah. And I see it over here on the gray, too. Well, take out what is wrong and I'll redo it. Just hang on. Let me look. Ugh. I oh, cannot there. stand having popping ankles. Jeez. Take the crackers off. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I just see my grandma the other day. How is she? Oh, she's doing okay. She's been um, eating oh, no, a little bit more, okay. but um, she's been eating and grab it back getting out of bed, getting out of bed and stuff. Okay. So she's been doing okay. Careful, don't touch the screen. Okay, so see, I but um, situation. But they took away her, her um some of her medicines that she was on and my mom's kind of worried about that because she'll start her um, dementia so again. That, and just like that. Nice. Okay. I think we've got it all sealed down. This is not, I'm not making this where it's going to sit outside. Hi, Mary. Hi, Olivia. And get rained on. I'll be bringing my in every time. Okay, so next. I'll cut this out. But see, now that made the gray hang way over. Well, I don't know why it's doing that because I took it out because it was hanging way over. Okay. These all have to be lined up. Like, well, I'm trying to do that. That's awesome. No, no, they're going to have to be so, uh, so trimmed. It's just that's the way it is. All right. Yeah, they're not perfect. I'll just trim off these little extra pieces. Like right here has got way too much fabric, but you don't want to lose your points. That's the thing. It almost looks like you are going to lose them there. See, and this is lined up. Weird. Here, Cass. So, make sure you line this up on your board so it lines up properly. I oh, am. Yeah. So you know which order is going because I'm confused. board because it's a lot easier if I cut it on here. That's looking good, Ruby. Thanks. Okay. Now, it's going to be a lot easier to do it this way because I can trim it off. I'm going to go half an inch down there. Half an inch, straight out. Oh. 
Oh. Sorry, Kathy. Sorry, Martha, but I'm hungry and Ruby today. <laughs> You're moderating for me today? Yeah. That's awesome. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> All right, I am just going to trim off like that because it's going to be way easier for me. Especially when you cut nice and crooked like that, you know? Right? Right? Let's see how good I am with my left hand. Down. Are we talking to Martha lately? What? Have we talked to Martha lately? No, Martha's at uh, camp. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we managed. should fit in here pretty good now good enough far from perfect but hey hey good enough what babe puppy you got puppy baby no have a pig Oh, you want puppy now? Here you go, sweetheart. I don't know what you want, baby. What? What's wrong? Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. Is that just not good enough for you? Oh man. Oh, just... Mm. just dive in. <laughs> Crazy child. He feels like he's having fun. Yep. Sure is. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, that's good. That's looking pretty good, Ruby. Well, thanks, Clint. Oh, you're welcome.
this there. Tia, you can't stay there. Okay, trim that. Well, what do you want to trim? Is that the road done? Yeah. But I don't know what it's going to look like when you trim it. <laughs> drive that car, Chase. Drive it. There. Just take it. It's got to go that way. But they're all diagonals, so it's it's hard to picture it right now. But it's. I'll be right back, Ruby. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right. All right. So now Ruby? Yeah. Erin, my sister said hi. Oh, hi, Erin. Uh, hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Got polka dot fabric. Are you riding your bike in and out of the tent? Nice. Yes, Papa moved yeah. all the cords for him. Cool. Hi, Cassie. Clint said hi, Cassie. Hi, Clint. Hey. I don't know if you can hear her, but she did say hi, Clint. I heard her. Okay. Let me know if there's any questions. You're the okay, no. You're the moderator. You gotta pay attention to chat. Okay, No, do you, um, 
like when you sew something like that, do you um, double stitch it where it won't come undone? Or do you just do a plain stitch? Oh, I'll probably just do a plain stitch. Yeah. Now I think I could flip it without it all moving. There Yeah, when I do like quilts and stuff, I do a double stitch on the top just to make it secure and everything so right. it don't come undone. Right. Oh no, look what my iron did. Oh crap. Oh no. Look at my iron. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's got, uh, it's got, uh, starch on it. Oh. oh this wipes off. Oh, thank God. It almost all come right off. Good oh, job. good. I was going to jump to the screen. <laughs> well, it didn't all come right off, but it's a lot lighter than it was. Yeah. If anybody out there has questions for me, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer. Your forehead turned out really good, Ruby. Yeah, you like those? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you think you're going to go into that iron? I'm not going to. Careful, babe. up this ironing board cover too. Stop. Here you go. Is it, no, I need you to trim it. Oh, okay. I don't know if that one's any better or not. 
Is that the second one? Mm-hmm. But how'd you sew it so fast? Because I'm not using those stupid starters and stoppers. Well, I find those very time consuming. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. This on the outside of my fabric. Round and round, round and round, just goes round and round. Round and round, and round he goes. Do da, do Lawnmower, he's smelling the neighbors cut the gas in it. I don't smell that. Oh, I do. I smell like burning fabric or something. Well, I'm kind of pissed off. Stop at this. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't like it, stupid thing. It's showing the brown. Mm. Oh I gosh. Scrub it out. Because I am not appreciating that. I wouldn't either. from yesterday that did that, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. I forgot to clean it off my iron. Well, it's a little bit lighter now, so that's okay. All right, let's move all this out of the way. Done with the iron. How's Patsy doing? Oh, pretty good. That's good. Here you go, home, I take it. What's that, Clint? I said, is she at home or still at your house? No, she's gone home. She's been at home for a couple of weeks now. All right. Yes, here's your things. Give me mine back. Why? Because mine are brand new. See, the thing here is when you sew this one, it's right on the triangle. You're going to lose the point. Let me see. I, I, I. 
Give me them. Two pieces. I took the other one apart. You did? Yeah. Thinking that it would help, but obviously it's not going to do anything. I don't know what else to do. You're not very helpful then. Well, I'm sorry. I'm only just doing what you want me to do. All right. That's that. And this is the one with the fleece. Perfect. So good. So good. Flip it. Right sides together. Did Jess have a good Father's Day? Sure. Oh! Sure. What? Yeah, Jeff's card. Oh. Shit. Yeah, my dad did too. He had a really good father's day. I made him a card. Oh, nice. That yeah, he nice. liked it and he it's cried. And I said, Dad, card. don't cry. You're going to make me cry my eyes out. And I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Here. Here. Yeah, he had a good father's day. I made him a card and saw the hearing and uh, made the side around and talked and laughed. And he was cracking oh, me God. up so much I couldn't stand it. Cookies are all gone, baby. Cookies all gone. They're all gone, sweetheart. Why are you so cute? What? What? Come up here and say hello in the camera. Come say hello up here. Say hello. Say hi. Hi, Jay. Say hi, Clint. <laughs> Papa. Say hi. hi. Say hi, Papa. He can hear you. Hi. You. you went up? Hi, Jay. Come there, baby. Aww. Oh. Come on. You look like me when I was little. Come on, baby. Puppy. One, two, Aww. three. You want puppies? Say hi. Look up there. Look up there. Hi, Jay. Say hi. Say hi. Hi, Jay. Hello. Oh, God. You, you don't want Grandma? Oh, no, 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 honey. Mommy. Those are so too. Cassie, take these. Mommy. Yeah, Mommy. Grandma. Yeah, Grandma. Aww. Grandma got one. Mommy Aww. got one. Yay. So adorable. Yay. Wow. Say hi to everybody. Hi, Jay. She's so adorable, Ruby. Watch. There you go, baby. Watch. What do you say? Thank you, Grandma. Watch. Did you say thank you, Grandma? What's that? <laughs> it's a teddy bear. Wow. Are you eating him? Did you eat the teddy bear? That's a teddy bear. Mary said hi, sweet little Chase. Say hi, Mary. Hi, little Chase. Hang on, I'll put them on you. Oh. Hi, Jay. <laughs> there, are you better now? Back. Oh. Back. 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 <laughs> <laughs>
Well, you're trying to pull it off. That's a big one. He needs a big one. You want a bigger one? Oh, my gosh. There you go, baby. Green. That's What color is that? Green. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> Where's green? Aww. Where's the green? Get the green one. Get green. <gasps> green. Aww. Good boy. Get a pink one. Yeah, we'll put the yellow on. Get pink. Pink. Oh, my fan. Grandma, help you find. Grandma, help you find. Where's pink? Okay, purple. Get purple one. One. Squish. Squish. Widget. Oh, there you go. Oh, Purple. Where's blue? Blue. Where's blue? Okay. Green. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. There's a blue. Red. Get a red one. Red one. <laughs> you got a red one? Good boy. You want that one there? There! You have all the colors now. Where's white? There's a white one. That one goes on your shoe. Right here. Like, like that. Grandma put it there. The green. What colors? What colors that? Yellow. What colors that? Green. What colors that? Red. What colors that? Blue. Blue. What colors that? Are you bet is it all better now? You done? You finished? Are we all done now? Yeah. Nope, that one has to stay there. That one is stuck. Can grandma sew now? No? Wow. Grandma can't do no sewing. What are you looking for? <laughs> hey, hi Chase. What's your hi, last Chase. name? What's your last name? What's your last name? Fraser. Fraser? How old are you? Huh? How old are you? Two. Wow, you're so growing oh, up. Open. What do you want open? Oh my gosh, she is so smart. He knows his colors, all his alphabets, everything. Wow. Wow. That yep. is amazing. Yep. Are you done? Are you done? Can Grandma get back to work? <laughs> Say bye, everybody. Say bye. Bye, bye Kay. Say bye. <laughs> Good boy. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Kay. You're going to work? Help me and you. Go to work. Go to work. Bye. Have a good day at work. You're going to work? Grandma's going to work, too. <laughs> you are so cute. <laughs> All right. Let's see if Grandma can go to work now. <laughs> I am going to make him a set of puffy alphabets. 
Yeah. And I'm going to do oh, it. Oh, sure. Let's my, go. Yeah. We're going to do it on my live. I'm going to go and make the alphabets, sew them up, stuff them, because he loves playing with the alphabets. And I'm going to make it all out of different colors of fabric. Of course your grandma gave you that whole bag of cookies. Oh, wow. That's a fucking good idea, Ruby. Yeah. So we'll do that on a live show. All right. I'm debating now where I want to put my magnets. So I need to think. Let me put these back on. Think, 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 mother link. Yeah. Your guy doesn't follow the foot pedal. So you know. That's for mainly doing points. Don't worry about it for measuring. You use your quarter inch foot. Driving nuts. Okay, so I'm going to want a big magnet right there. So I need to make a mark where I want these magnets. I would say right about there. Right about there. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm. Maybe I'm going to go ahead and uh, meet you in the chat area so I can start chatting with everybody and stuff. You go ahead. Thanks for joining me. Uh, no problem, Ruby. I love you. Love you too, sweetie. All right. See you in a minute. See you in a minute. Do this again. Oh, jeez. In there. Oh, that's no, don't touch that. These are beautiful broken magnets. Love them. Oh. Give me a problem. Oh, God, get off. I'm gonna go like this. Okay, stay there. I'm just scared it won't work through there. But let me just check. 
Mommy. Wow, right. well, okay. Okay, so that's gonna be good. Okay. And then when this comes up, that's where I gotta put a magnet here. I'll show you. Flap is down. Put a thing right there. So when I fold it up, I want the magnet to hit there. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to see if one of these will go in there. Yes. So it'll hold it up so I can just reach in and grab my clothespins. You see? That's how that's going to work. So I have to put a magnet there too. Okay, I got to go get some fabric tape. Sport like fabric tape, like double-sided tape, and that's what I'm going to use to hold these down. Okay. These magnets are so friggin' strong. I don't know if that's any better or not, but... Put an X there. Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. Chasey. Chasey. Okay. Chasey. And Flips up, I'll be able to just leave it holding up. That's okay. Is this one done now? Ready to be cut? Mm -hmm. All right, and then I gotta go in the house and get some stuff, but I have to put these magnets on before I do anything else. Hi. I'm gonna take a minute's break. Mama. Yes, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Look at the pen. It's a it's a fabric pen. Can you say fabric pen? Fabric pen. Yes. Good job. You can't touch anything on Grandma's machine because my machine shut off. Because you're just a dangerous little boy. Auntie Patsy, that's Grandma's machine. That's Grandma's machine, all cleaned and oiled. Cleaned it all up today. Put a new needle in all the machines. Did you take it to be serviced? No, not yet. There you go. Is that one any better? They're both fine. Let, let me see. Put. Let me see two of them. I want to put two of them together and just see what it's gonna look. 
Okay, well you can see that this one's gonna lose the point. On the top one. the wrong side. Why? It's right? No, it's not. Not right at all. Juice! Juice! I'll get you one when I go in. Just wait a minute. Mama. I can't stretch this. Yellow. Yeah, that's yellow. I think I figured it out. Dangerous. You have to line up these. When I oh, pin okay. them. Yeah. So that might be better. See, when you trim it, the Green. points are all Green. even yeah. now. Here, rip yeah. this out. Green. See what I did? Green. This, the blacks, Green. the gray should have been sewed together. No. Here. Yes. No. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Green. Green. The rhombus is white, gray, and black. White. That's what I'm telling you. It's right. No, it's wrong. Mom, should look be... at this board. White, gray, black. <sighs> no. No, it's supposed to be this. These grays are supposed no. to be together. No. Yes, they are. Mom, look at the rhombus. I have this on my backsplash at home. You're, you're making, your rhombus is right here. This is right, this piece. You're not listening. Look it. Is this not the same as this? No, you're in an odd row. 
two rows have to be matching. Give me that. I don't know what happened here. Give that to me. It's wrong. Okay, we'll put the row back here and you can see that it's not wrong. Okay, let me show you what something's definitely wrong here. Because those two grays should have matched up. I don't want them to match up. I don't want two grays to be beside each other, but this is wrong right here. Oh, this is can right. I have that? This is wrong. You cannot argue with me because you're I not going to win. I have that at win. home. That's what it, that's no, what it looks No, you're not like. going to argue with me. I show you and I'm going to show you again. Yellow. Yep, yep, Teta. That's dangerous. Yes. Say dangerous. Yellow. There you go. Show me how on any of those rhombuses that there's two colors beside each other that are the same. Yellow. Yellow. Oh, right. What am I thinking? You're just arguing oh, with me. And I ripped that out for nothing. Here, you finish sewing it. Okay, where's the two pieces? Give me that. Don't mix this up because this was hard to lay out. Yes, because you need the dark. Oh. Son of a bitch. You're losing your mind. It's still not right. I took a picture of this. It is right. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Son of Mommy. a bitch. What, baby? Your grandma's being bad. No, mommy's getting grandma anxious. Yeah, mommy. Grandma won't let mommy be right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. black, gray, white, gray, black. Oh. Mommy. White, black, gray, black, no, we're going for a nap. white, white, gray, black, white. Okay, it is right. I did take a picture of it just to be on the safe side. Say, okay, Cassie, you were right. Okay, Cassie, you were right. Thank you. So, but I'm willing to this redo is not this the next row. row. I'm willing to redo this row you so don't I don't lose to. that point. Oh, okay. Because, I, like I said, I think I figured it out. Where's okay. the one not trimmed? This. Because see, one. now all these points line up on each side. Okay. So this does not go this way. That does not. So why are these pieces? There we go. Right. So this one goes next. And then this should have black. That should go there. So once you trim it now, there'll be enough yeah. left over that I won't lose my points. Right. So I'm willing to redo all three of these rows. Well, you are going to rip them all, but don't rip them. Because those are biases, you'll stretch it and you won't, nothing will fit. You have to use those little well, trimmers. Well, I don't think I need to do this one. Oh, yeah, I guess you do. <laughs> you lost mm. your point here or here, I don't know. When I tried oh, to one. line it, yeah, when I tried to line it up, it didn't work. Or scrap these. And just cut me more pieces? I have pieces down there. In that oh, bin. well, then I'll just, yeah, scrap those because I think I figured, trim this up and see if it works out. Cass, I, I, re I can already see it is. Learn to cut your threads. But grab that basket. I want to see how many pieces are there. Well, make me a new pattern. I'm going to put them to sleep. Oh, would you do just pour those out for Charlie? That's so nice of you. He'll really appreciate that. Oh, we gave them to Tia. Oh my god. He gave her a handful of goldfish and she's mowing. Okay, come here. All right. Children. On the couch. 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 Let's see. I don't know if I have enough here. I'm definitely not going to cut you out more. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a better idea because that first row I've ripped out twice and redid. Mm -hmm. So I need to start with gray and a black. Gray and a black and a gray. And then we've got that, that, and that. 
Learned I smart to save her, save some extra pieces. Okay, so there is one more row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's the green. These are screwed up ones. Yep. Get them right out of her face. There. Did she knock some off of here? had to have because there's pieces missing. Jeez Louise, this kid. Should be one there. Did you knock some of these white pieces off? I know I needed one extra. There should be one missing. There's one right here, but it was already cut. Oh. So I couldn't line it up. Okay, so there are your new three rows. By the looks of it, there's a one missing. I told you there was one missing because I I put all new ones though. These are these are all new. I know, but I took one from this corner because you had one already cut. This one I did not cut. I'm not going to pull out that thing and start cutting in one stinking piece. Oh, you just are short a triangle? Yes. Just one triangle. Should be two on that corner. This one was not cut. This goes here. So there should have been two here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one's done. There should be eight to each row. So there is it again. Thank you. Here, take this because I don't have room for it. Don't argue with me when I'm right. Shut up. I can't stand when kids are right. Mm -hmm. I look at this every day in my kitchen. Why didn't you take a picture of it? I would have made it identical to your kitchen. It is identical to my kitchen. We need to take a picture. Oh. Uh, I 
supposed to be that last column underneath. Here, I'm gonna call. See if anybody's available. nap that easily. Good afternoon. Hi Mary. How is everyone? Good. I need to get up. I gotta go get um oh shh. now I just lost a magnet. I didn't know it was on here. What you lose? A magnet. That one's oh. attached. The other one is not. And I don't know where it went. So I'll have to get another one for now. But I'm not looking for magnets. Where did the magnets go? <clears throat> I don't remember Chase, where I put them. Chase is so cute. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know he is. He's just a little doll. I don't know, remember where I put those magnets. I am literally losing my mind. Not there. Not stuck to anything there. There they are. They're in the wrong compartment. I'm losing my mind, Mary. That's okay. I've lost my long time ago. Okay. I don't feel so bad then. All right, I need a new magnet. Maybe I'll find that one. I'm going to run in the house and grab my um, my double-sided fabric tape. Olivia wants to be let in. We'll tell her to join. She said she can't. Why? I don't know. Tell her to close her browser and reopen it. This is, uh, everybody's in this group. Close your browser and try reopening it, Olivia. Hi, Tracy. Yes, it's me. How are you?
from Scott needed new work clothes. He was washing the machine and got so oh. Stuff is such a waste. That has no sticky left on it. What are you doing now, Ruby? I am putting the magnets on. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good thing I wasn't in chat a little while ago. Uh, because <laughs> I fell asleep. In my chair, watching. Oh, no. <clears throat> Olivia says she didn't get an invite to join. There is no inviting. I can't invite. I just click call. She has to be able to join. Oh. It. You can't you can't invite anyone. Oh, I see. Couldn't complete. You're already on the call. Go in the group, Olivia, and click it. See, there's a join button. You have to click on the join button, that green one. Olivia, try that. I. Yeah, there's no way to invite you. You can't invite. That's very strange. Yeah. It's weird. She should be able to join unless she left the group. Yeah, you're in the wrong one. You're not. You're in the girls. You have to go to it the is, next. It is the girls. Down. There. Really? Mm hmm. Well, I have a join button, but I don't know why you wouldn't have one. I have to restart your computer.
I'm in a chat room with Patsy. I don't know. I don't know who made all these groups. I just belong to one, so I don't know which one you're in. I'm totally lost. does not want to work. So, I will put new stuff on. should be good. Now, I'm going to get these ironed, put some interfacing on them before they lose, I lose them. I don't know how would I get oh fell on the floor. <coughs> I'm just waiting for the iron bean to go up. Let me see if these are going to work. Extra layer of interface. Nope. That's not working. Oh. Oh boy, 
I had a feeling it wasn't going to work. It's too thick. That one barely is holding. Wow. Well, ain't that a piss off. Fantastic. It's because I ironed them. I don't know. It, it worked before. Yeah. Well, we could always use snaps. That's what I think I'll use. Pull these out. I'm going to use snaps. Magnets aren't going to work. Yep. And that way I could put the snaps on at the very end. Are you making a clothes hanger bag? Yeah. I should just follow your tutorial and made Margaret one. Does she hang laundry up? Yeah. Well, you can't really follow my tutorial. I don't tell you much. Oh. Yeah, I sucked at this tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. Well, it is. If people want to make it, if they want to make it, I have to give them measurements. I can just take yours and give it to her as a gift. And say oh, sure it. you can. Not. All right. So, how do we want to do this? Let me cut the lid. So we got to put lay on there. right sides together. I need to know where I'm putting my hanger. I better decide that. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yeah. Where that piece of interfacing? So I need to snip a hole in the center here. So let me find the center, and then I'm going to snip a little hole in there, and I'm going to put some interfacing in there. This has to be sewed. How would I buy that off you? Okay. This way. How about no? How about you make one? I'm going to make like a little pocket here. I'm just going to, not a pocket. Once this is sewed, I have to tuck this inside. So I'm going to have to leave an opening here and that's how I'll turn it all out. So that's how that's got to work. Do I sound odd to anyone? 
Olivia said I sound like I'm swimming underwater. Yes. Huh. Yeah, it does. All right. Well, I'm going to hang up and see what happens. Oh, okay. So we're going to put some interfacing there. There's two layers of it. That's where the hole is. And I'm going to sew around that hole. Just be, just so it doesn't, um, I'm actually going to make it like a buttonhole, basically, on there. So now I have to do the same thing with this piece. They have, the holes have to be in the same place. Where is my hole? Right there, so I can see it. There we go. And I want to go right through to the other side. And it went through. Okay. Now, I'm going to put two pieces on this side where the hole is. And I'm pressing it. Is that any better? I don't hear it. Yeah, sounds good. Yep. Okay, now I lost my hole, of course, because I ironed it. Because that friction pen irons off. Redo it. No. Maybe Olivia wants to know if you can go ahead and recall. Okay. End the call and recall everyone. Okay. Well, you got to leave too then. Yeah, I am. And I'll, and I'll recall. Okay. All right. I don't know if I can because I think Jeff is in here. It says I'm already in a call. Jeff, leave the call. Why is there two groups? Like, who made another one? Oh, God. Okay, I need to leave this group. I'm getting way too, way too much stuff going on here. All right, you're already on a call. <sighs> Where is the call? What are you so angry for? Because I'm getting frustrated here. I'm Bixby, your intelligent assistant, here to help you get. All right, it's just got to wait a minute. I don't know what's going on with my phone, but I am not in a call. I don't see a call anywhere. Not even with Jeff? No. No, I don't have a clue. 
And what's that broad name that Jada assists you? I don't know what her name is. <laughs> what did she say? She's gonna name? assist me. I don't know, it's from Bixby. It's a Bixby call. Okay, remember, don't iron that. I need that point, that piece. Because I need to poke it. Oops. I need to poke a hole through here so I can get my hanger in there. And I need to poke a hole here. You must be on a call because Auntie Patsy just said you need to calm down. No, she watches my videos. Well, she texted me and said, tell her Olivia can't join in. I know that. That's why I reset my phone. Don't people just join in themselves? Yeah, but for some reason something's going on. I don't know what group we're in anymore because people are making groups here and adding me to them. See, that's the right group. Olivia, see if it works now. There's Olivia. There's Mary. Oh, there's Patsy. I'm in. Okay. Well. Somebody well, needs to. Somebody made a new group, and I guess I called in this wrong group. Hey, they all got to be there. No, we're not all in it. There's only me and two other people in it. And I didn't make it. But I left it. Because <laughs> that's just too confusing. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm in the group with Mary and Patsy. I'm thinking, there's no call. I'm not saying things. It's not. <laughs> it's because I, I was in the wrong group. group. Somebody made another group and I, just added I me saw to it. Two groups. Is there That's a way to groups. avoid people from adding you to groups? Does anyone know how to do that? I've just learned how to join the group. Oh, good asking me. Oh my gosh, that would be awesome because that way nobody can add me to groups because I would block that instantly. Really? Yeah. I don't like being added to groups unless I'm. I've got someone asks me, like are you got. Are you in, oh, you, you don't mean phone calls. You mean groups in Facebook. Yeah, because I Maybe. get all kinds of people that are on my friends list, and they're making groups and adding me to it. And it's like, yeah, bye. <laughs> Just go to your notifications, and you can do that. Uh, no, thank you, Cassie. When is Cassie coming to hang out? I don't know. She's always going to have lots I hate of when people do that. Yes. Auntie Patsy's a very busy lady because she's cleaning out everything. Storage rooms, cupboards. Where is she storage room? Cassie, you don't remember her big storage, walk-in storage room? Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. In her closet? And um, the... Robert was here. He's feeling a lot better today. He had a phone call. He had to leave, but he asked us to let you know he was here. Oh, sorry, Robert. Sorry, sorry. No, fine. You understand. All right, so I'm going to leave an, an opening. I can turn this because I'm not putting a binding on this. So I'm not making it any harder than what it is. All right. The bumblebee's lost the sting as it's a bit cooler today, so he's not getting stung, so everything's perfect. Oh, good. That's awful, getting stung. Yeah. I don't like getting bumblebee bites, stings. I wore a the other day when there was a bee in here. <laughs> yeah. I thought once they stung you, once they lose the sting and die. Yeah, the bees do. Yeah, that's true, Olivia, they do. Has it lost a lot of bees due to but the hornets? Hornets and wasps—they don't die. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, hornets and wasps will hunt you down. Oh, yeah. What's the matter, Cassie? Oh, you know. Oh, my God, Chase is too cute. Isn't he adorable? He is just so cute. All right, I'm going to start here. I'm going to turn my stitch right down low because I'm going around corners. And if you turn your stitch to really, really small stitch length, you uh, you will be able to get around these corners a lot easier. So, Coco. So if you would like to know what that wooden stiletto pointy thing was. Oh, that's a four-in-one tool that I got in one of my uh, fat quarter sew sampler boxes. So on one end, it's got a seam ripper. On the other end, it's got a pokey tool. This end is for poking out your corners. And this is to finger press your fabric. So it's a four-in-one tool. And you get it from fat quarter shop. It's called 4-in-1 Essential Sewing Tool by C&T Publishing. It's an awesome tool. Yeah, that came in my fat, in my fat quarter sew sampler box. So yeah, I'm doing very tiny stitches. That's your machine turned down. Sorry, that's your machine turned down. No, it's not turned down. I've got my stitch length turned down. Yeah, my machine does never get turned down unless I'm quilting. Like yesterday, I quilted this. Too bad you missed it. It was Father's Day. I know. How did you like his gifts? The camera that Chase gave to him last week, you mean? Oh, he did? What about his picture? He likes it. He wants a clown. Oh, and I also shoot. got him a mug, but it's still in the I wanted to sew around my holes. Yeah, so I went to put Chase in the car, and Chase like, Daddy, hammer. <laughs> he gave it away. I pointed to the pocket, and Chase was like, or Dad, Scott was like, what? Daddy, hammer, and he looked in the pocket. And he came in with tears in his eyes. He's like, Chase ruined it. He said, Daddy's hammer, so I thought there was a hammer in there. I'm like, well, there was. Aw, that's all right. I know. Get it up what did the hammer say? Thanks for building us up. Yeah, Cassie bought her husband a hammer, a real hammer. And on it was engraved, um, thanks for building us up, because they he built them a house. And the hammer said, thanks for building us up. It was super nice. Ready to make one for Margaret? I'll I'll help you. All right. When's her birthday? Friday. What? Friday. I need you to watch Chase on Wednesday for an hour and a bit. Yep. Why? So I've an acupuncture appointment for me to labor. Oh please. I'm desperate. Yeah, I'll say now you're going to try acupuncture to put you in labor. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work. Well, how do you know? I won't know if I don't try. Anyways, the appointment's at 9.30 till 10.30. Oh. And then I'll come back and talk to this one. Oh. Will I be able to make it that much time? What do you mean? The clothes bag. One day. Well, I'll get one made in one day, yes. You'll get it made in one day. Maybe two. Because you're going to make me do all the work anyway. Yeah, that's right. The hard stuff. Yeah, exactly. Do I know my daughter? Mm-hmm. You have that one. She's dropping. She's going to have that one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so 
this is my corner. No, 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 so that was wanted to ask me with the pleading eyes, and I can't say no to them. Working on marriage? Well, I have an entire box of crafts from making masks. Okay. So I'm sorting it. To see if there's anything I can reuse. If not, I'll just throw it out. It's something I can do and sit here and not make a lot of noise. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry about making a lot of noise. Made it to be done anyway. There you go. Will the little scraps be big enough to do a magic quilt with? I, I haven't gotten one of those. So. Oh, come on. Hurry, Ruby. What's going on? What? Mary hasn't got one. She hasn't got one what? I have not picked up one. Magic quilt. Not, yeah, I haven't got one of those yet. don't know. Mary, why don't you have one? <laughs> <It's lacking. laughs> I haven't found the one I like yet. Right. Well, I could not think of that excuse. <laughs> Well, because, you know, Olivia, you like to buy different things so your husband has something to keep him going with his blood pressure and everything. That's true. Yeah, it would be no fun if you weren't shopping. That's definitely true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just ordering more quill, uh, quilling strips. He doesn't know yet. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know yet. And when do well, you think he'll find out? I'll take you will not find out because I'll put them all with the other stuff. I'm like, oh, yeah, I got them all at the same time months ago. Yeah, there you go. Crap is coming. <laughs> well, I have to think of where I would put it. And unless I find one for a little girl to put in the bedroom. I was Lord. Little girls, little boys, animals, zoos, flowers. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Now, let's box these corners. Ruby, what do you tell? Oh, never mind. What? Is that so you like can go around the corner? Yeah, it looks like she was getting ready to tie dye something. Wait a minute here. What? How do I want to do this? Yeah, just like that. Okay. Do I want to do it like this? Sure. Why not? Let's see how this turned out. No, that's not going to work. I thought these have to be done separately. And then so, yeah. All right. Let's undo this because I don't have a Y scene. So do you hang your clothes out on a clothesline still? I will be. I it, it gives you a beautiful smell. Yeah, I miss my clothesline. Right. Yeah. 
Well, I used to think so too, but now I live in Indiana. What's and that? It doesn't smell so great. Really? Oh, oh well, we're putting up a clothesline this weekend. Where? Right on the deck. Like across your whole deck? No, no, no. No, it's an umbrella one. Oh, oh a roof tree one. Oh, yes. All right. So, I need to find out. The wrong clock, Tracy. Four on one tool. From here to there, right? Why am I having so much problems with my corners? Because you're not measuring them anymore. I'm not matching up. They should have matched up here, but they did not. Why not? Oh, brother, I don't even know what I did. I'm going to turn this inside out, and then I'll check it. So I can see what's going on. Got plenty of room to figure it out. Let me know if I'm making too much noise. I will. Mary, Mary. What? You've been too damn quiet. <laughs> <laughs> You've been told, Mary. I know. I have. There you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, my eye ring was gurgling. That's why I was saying that. <laughs> check to see how my hanger is doing. My hanger will be inside here. Did you just start that today? Yeah. Why? Okay. I started it when you got here actually. No, you already had pieces cut. It looks oh. like a t-shirt. <sighs> so that's gonna go like that. That's going to go like that. Do you need to have a drink in that gazebo? No, oh, I can't wait. Up there. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to pack a bottle of wine in my hospital bag. <laughs> See, my work appreciates that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would love to, <laughs> that you did that. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's just going to get sewed down there. And then I got to box these corners. And that's how that's going to go. So I really didn't. So this be. Cool. What? Is this a pattern that you just came up with yourself? Or did yeah, that I'm just inventing this. 
Are you kidding? You are so smart. You're just doing that. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh, this is ridiculous. Cassie, when do you ever see me follow patterns? To help me make pillows. Oh. You just told me Cassie. No, no my daughter is saying. Cassie said something to me too. All right. Now, let's get her done. Okay. Maybe we'll get her right this time. All right, so I made a hole where I didn't need to make a hole. So there you go. I screwed up. That's your one screw up for the day. <coughs> but it's such a tiny hole. All right, I, re I need to re-stitch these. And then i got to stitch at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Gotta make a bottom. Now, where did I undo those stitches? Right here. Shoot. Like I said, if anybody wants measurements, I will take measurements. I'm making another one on Wednesday for Cassie. She make one for her mother-in-law. So. We'll probably make that one in colors. This one's just a boring, a boring one. Okay, so I'm gonna restitch here. Can you make a hole for the magnet to hook through? Yeah, but the magnets are not strong yeah. enough. I need really stronger ones. Uh, yeah. Now I need to fold this in half and sew it. So I can box my corners. I'm surprised you didn't make it out of vinyl since it's going to be outside. I pretend they're, they're... Well, I don't have any vinyl. But I'm not leaving this outside. I never oh. leave my clothesline, clothespins out. Oh, okay. So one more time because I'm going to snip off this seam. Okay. All right, Ruby Doobie, now I need you. I'm busy. No, I need you. I'm busy. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to put that all on hold. Why is this wobbly? Yeah. Really wondering why. All right. What do you need? Besides a smack. Okay, what? You gotta straighten them so you can sew them all together now. No? Oh, I'm not doing all that. You are. Well, You're going to nest it? these seams. Let me, all of these seams have to be nested. I don't know what the hell that means. Okay, I show, showed you this the other day. Take the black and nest it up with the white. So look, see how these are... Don't those need to be cut though? Because they're not all equal. No, don't cut them. Just just leave them alone. Oh, that is There's so pretty. I love out, that. So how do I know where to sew? Just follow the lines, please. They're not all lined up, though. Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. You have to just straighten them for me, and then I'll do that. You know? You are annoying me, you know? Look, I redid those and made them a lot better. You shouldn't have to cut much off. You know? But like this one, you will. Mm -hmm. And don't, make sure you leave me enough room to sew my points so I don't lose them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you told me to come over 
over and so and relax. You're not supposed to laugh, Olivia. You put a wish for me. <laughs> you can't stress me out when I'm pregnant. I don't know if Ruby's thrilled, but she's just giving us like a lay. <laughs> She's doing this. I'm not. No way am I sitting here. Will show me. Do you measure Penny. them or do I just cut off the excess to make it all straight? They need to be pressed too. Sort of. All you do is take like, do the you ruler. measure them or just cut no. off to the smallest size? Just, no. Well then how do you do it? I'm just going to do it to where it starts getting all wonky. Well that's See? what I meant. Okay, well, then part. I can do that. I didn't know if you measured them and made them all the same. Pretty good sewing, eh? This one here is not too bad, except for that bottom one. It's okay, chop it off. Just line it all up. But you don't worry about the width of it being the same? No, because you're gonna you're gonna end up cutting too much off and then your pieces are gonna you're gonna lose your points. So all you wanna do is that. So okay. it's it's not too bad. Well, I can do that then. Just take very thin layer off. If you come over here and tell me, Oh mom, look what I did, I took a big chunk off, you better run for your life. Mm -hmm. And then I just sew them together. Mm -hmm. That's them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, my table's not big enough. I shouldn't have done this. Shit a la king. I should not have done this. Not fun. Oh my god. I am an idiot. Well, now I do have all of them into pieces. My oh. cutting card's not even big enough. Go on a diagonal should fit. That's a 14 inch board. Mouth is home. Oh. Alright, I'm doing something different here. Hi Martha. Hey Martha. How was camp? I don't understand. What do you what like, I'm gonna cut off a huge chunk here. No, line move the ruler over a bit where that big chunk is. It's okay if it's a little bit too long. I can't do this. <laughs> oh, children. Well, how do I need coffee. So Be easy? right back. Okay. okay. I, I can. Like, this doesn't line up at all. Like, not even in the slightest. You tell me how you would cut that very crooked. Oh, can you just give me that? Kid. Like, how would you do that? Was You're going to have to take some of that gray off. Yeah, how do you do that without lying? I don't understand. <laughs> you're gonna get to another one and you're gonna go well i just don't know how to do this you're gonna have to learn if you want to sew i wonder if i could just rip even though it's double seam i'm not pissing around with now i have two pieces Two pieces. Very good. Oh, very good. I just, I'd rather use my snips that she probably took. Did you take my snips? My blue ones? Nope, they're right here. Okay, I need to get these apart. What are you going to do, eh? Is 
and I know I backstitched here mm -hmm. like a mad woman. Okay, we're making a lining. I didn't want to do it this way, but looks like we have to. But I didn't want to. I really didn't. Oh, you dirty pig. No. done. Now, get out of my way. Okay, so I think I'll pull the threads out because, ouch, they look like hell. After you sew it, it's hard to pull them out. Ruby, I didn't catch why if you pulled it all out. Because I did something wrong. And now I have to make two pe two individual pieces and then sew them together. Right. Yeah. Because these ended up being two pieces now. I screwed up. Yeah, but it shows that you, you're human. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm trying to design this out of my head. And exactly. It, and I'm making it. all this. homemade. Homegrown, homemade. Like, look at how, I hate this interfacing. It, look, it's not even stuck. After all that ironing, I'm going to iron it again. That's not the same stuff that you got for the masks, is it? No, the stuff for the mask is way thinner. That seemed to just uh, hold up against the heat and it was stuck. Yeah. Is this stuff you got really cheap from that uh, no. store in town? No, this is uh, this thicker one. It's the heavier interfacing. I've had it. Oh. Yeah, that one, no. That one is ripped, which oh, I don't really care. I shouldn't even have went with boxing these corners. Because now I have twice the work to do, and I don't know how I'm going to do it. Oh, frick. I'm almost tempted just to cut, cut these off. That's what I'm tempted to do and forget the box corners. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Cut them off.
Oh, I have to cut those off too. Do you have a drink? Now I have to attach this back to those pieces and then I can sew it all together. Yeah, she does need to drink something. Yeah. It gets hot in that gazebo. Get some water or tea or something. I got coffee here. Please drink. <laughs> yeah, but it's cold. Yeah, but I like my coffee cold. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't mind it cold. Mine's always cold by the time I remember that I've got one beside me. <laughs> so this is how you rip. <laughs> <laughs> In case anyone was wondering, you don't know how to rip stuff apart, it's just like this. Super easy. I've taught Cassie how to do this. But I've taught her not to do it on diagonals. Tracy, I spend so much on online shopping, it's not good. <laughs> it's too easy to get at the fingertips. Who's that? Crazy. The beauty of online shopping, everything is at your fingertips. Yeah. I is. know, isn't that great? No, it's fascinating. That's <laughs> <laughs> fascinating. <laughs> There's something wrong with this cutter. That blade shouldn't be loose. Companies were making a killing during the quarantine. Sure oh, yeah. Were. And they, they were actually putting the prices up. Yep, Amazon is really? against the law. Oh, wow. You remember that guy that bought seventy thousand dollars worth of toilet paper? Yeah, and sand sanitizer. Wow. Yeah, and he couldn't sell it. Yep. I wonder what he did with all of it. <laughs> I think he tried to send or bring it back some of it, yep. wow. but they wouldn't take it. No. Nope. I don't know, maybe he's just selling it for regular price now. Yeah. I know the company that my husband works for, they're on furlough at the moment because they made so much kitchen roll and tissue for the pandemic that they didn't slow down afterwards, so they've got a stockpile of it. Really? Yeah. So he's on, both him and my son who work there are on furlough until the end of July. It's like oh, wow. something in there. Something's just not Well, right. when I went to Sam's Club yesterday or the day before, they had toilet paper. I was shocked. Oh, yeah. Most places I've been going to, they don't even have a limit on it anymore. I bought eight roll, eight packs of toilet paper and eight packs of paper towel. That's normally what we always bought anyway. But it, yeah. Yeah. before the pandemic, we always went, because Jeff would buy four, because it's always a limit of four. 
no matter even without the pandemic we always bought four oh each. really yeah we always bought four each it's not because we're holding oh, it okay. to the nest them they go opposite right what's that to nest them they go opposite yes yes Shit, it's hot. Yeah, it's getting very hot out here. I'm not going to be able to stay out here much longer. Oof, I'm dying. Okay, so that's sewed back together as if nothing even happened. Link said it didn't happen. It did not you didn't happen. say it, you got no proof. Yes. Does everybody wear a mask when they go out now? Yes. Still? Most, do places, they you? most places here make you wear them. Yes, it's a law here. You have to. Yep. You're not allowed on public transport. Okay. Or in shops without a mask. Yep. Really? Yep. Yeah. Huh. You will be refused entry. Yep. If you don't have a mask on. Yes, you I will. did not know that. Because Home Depot and Sam's Club do not require a mask. Wow. So that one's fixed. Let's fix this baby up. Wow, I'm really hot. It's very hot in here. Don't you have a fan on? No. There's no fan out here. There isn't even a breeze. Is there? I could go open that. Okay, I'll go open it because I am extremely hot. Take a drink. Oh my god. It's probably like 85 in here. Wow, that's hot. Yeah. It's pretty hot outside. I said to Jeff, I ain't going outside today. I lied. <laughs> That's almost too hot to be outside, especially in an enclosed space with no fan. Okay, let's get this one sewed now. Or no, I got it sewed. Need to press it. Now we're back. We're back to normal. Go 
hanger back. Put this back. Put that back. Put this away. And I need to move my sewing machine for a bit. So I can lay this out. And repin it now. So I don't have to worry about seams. But I do have to nest these. I know a better matchup. I don't think it would do not match up. It's almost you done. You can apart again. <laughs> oh God! That's that's bad language. <laughs> Actually, see, housework is bad language for me. <laughs> yeah. Where I put some clips there. I really don't need all these. Yeah, this is all going to match up now. So I think I'm going to leave an opening in the side here instead of up here because I want to cut all of this. You know, like this is a stupid place leave an opening so I'm just gonna leave one on the side all right get the comfort of it please Tracy what do you mean by sharks flying through the sky my imagination thinking of weird stuff what do you mean Tracy says sharks flying through the sky. They've got a tornado warning. Oh no. And it looks like a monsoon outside, thundering. Cassie, you can't tell me you're not enjoying being out here so weak. I'm excited I'm sitting at home salting. <laughs> you guys didn't hear that, did you? No. She said it's better than being at What'd home. What did she say? She said better than being at home sulking because she's not in labor, so she's been really miserable about it. Aww. <laughs> she's rather be at home sulking or here. All right. Oh, I need to turn stitch down. Because we're going around corners. wet and hot. I don't think I'm nesting well. And what happens if you don't, nest? You don't have a USB fan You'll from see. your laptop? <laughs> You'll see it. Well, what's happening here? Is it sewed? Yeah. Let me look at the front. Are all your points there? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. You're nesting it right. Well, like this one's all twisted. 
that's okay. You can take your snips after and snip it once it's all ironed. Don't panic about that. Just get get them nested that way. That's all. Please. Is Martha still here? Don't say one newbie. I said, is Martha still here? She's just popped to see what the game is doing. I don't know what game it was. Oh, her fish world. Mm. What color do you want to make Margaret's cast? Because I'm going to have to dig you out some fabric. Right? Or you can go through it. Go through my fabric and see which one I want. Sad part is, a back quarter is not going to work for this. Oh my god, that clouds look wonderful. Clouds stay. So where did I start? Right there. I'm going to leave that much open. I don't really need... I don't need too much open. I'm just move this out of the way. I am... My back is so bad. What happened to the wind? All right. Oh, wait, I gotta do some snipping around these corners. There. 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 And there. And I've already done all, all the snipping I need to do here, I think. Good. And up here now, I can continue snipping. I just barely touched it. And this side here is a little bit bigger. Touched. Oh my god, I just found my bra underneath all of this fabric. Just what, the what was it doing in there? What was it doing in there? <laughs> well, I sure didn't put it in there. I don't even want to know. <laughs> 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 okay, I was pulling the fabric out. I'm thinking, wow, that's a really big piece of leftover fabric. And it was my bra. Okay. Who took it out there? How bizarre is that? <laughs> All right, now both these corners are snipped. In fact, I'm even going to take a little bit off here. A little bit there. This will be our last story. It's our secret. We won't tell a soul. Mm -mm. My lips are sealed. Yeah, my lips are sealed too. Okay. So I'm gonna do these. Where the fuck are these? These out. <laughs> what? What are you whining about? No problem. Is empty. <laughs> You're gonna have to learn how to make bobbin soon, eh? Yeah, I do now because now I don't have any more plastic on. Oh, okay. So what would you like me to do? Make some. I will show you how. Very easy. Oh, I got some with some parch sparkle on them. I wouldn't start using those because you're gonna run out real quick. Yeah, what do I do? Then you're gonna cry. 
<laughs> I saw an all out known a bomb in. Like I just did. Okay, see the see this? Mm -hmm. Wrap your bobbin around there. Take this. Put this through one of these holes. Like that. Okay. Push it down. Why was lift your needle up? What's going on here? Oh, push that. Does it say bomb and winding? Yeah. Okay. Hold this for a little bit, really close to there. Wrap it around your fingers. Don't let it get caught. Okay. Step on the gas. Okay. Let it stop. 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 Now take your snip, snip that off. Now what? Continue. Go full blast. So you can wind that. It'll stop automatically when it's full. Mm -hmm. And then you gotta re-thread your machine. I would do a couple because you're gonna need a couple anyway. That way you don't have to keep re-threading your machine. So what are you doing? It's done. Take it and cut it off with your snips. Pull it up, cut it with your snips, and thread your thread through another one now. Oh, that's just fancy. That's your first time bobbin winding, guys. Shit, it's hot out. <laughs> no, no, Logan's got about 70 for you to fill. Does it matter which hole it goes in? No. Just as long as it's on the top, the thread's on the top, and you're holding it. Until you get a few revolutions of thread around that, and then you'll snip, stop and snip it off. I was going to wind you some bobbins, and then I thought, no, she needs to learn how to do this. Because I did all mine this morning. See? Look. <laughs> oh, are you enjoying that? Bobbin? Mm -hmm. Do you like the bunny ears? Ha! <laughs> Ooh, everything's gonna lay smooth, flat, cool. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. <laughs> Hurry up and get the rest of this out because I can't even stand looking at these two things. They look like Martian antennas. <laughs> Uh, lordy, lordy. Okay. Now, where's my hole? I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to press out all these seams. See all these threads I missed? Dumb. It is so hard to get them out now. Shoot. Some I still can pull. Some I can't. That one I can't pull either. Anyway, I'm going to do this first. Push out my seams. Pull out some threads because I was too lazy, okay?
once you sew these in, you can't get them off. this all a little press. Here's this. Get this all turned under. Good, thank you, Mom. How are you? Still gotta put my hanger in, but I'm gonna put this iron. Yes, Ruby's bringing it back to life. Paul's peg bag. Yeah, it's got to be top stitched all around to so that the side seams up anyway. And then it'll look like a closed pin bag shortly. It's nice and sturdy though. Where's my open side? Right here.
sew that down. wind beautiful stay all right now let me figure out what we're doing with you okay so now I need you to be straight in here Gorgeous. Okay. Make sure that's straight in there before I do anything else. I'm going to sew it down. Get as close as I can to it. Did I pull the needle off? Of course I did. Actually, I think I'm going to draw. Yeah, I'm going to draw my line. Because I think it's going to be easier. And more straight. And that way I can follow a straight line. Mom says the pool's bag, pool's bag is going to be great. Thanks, Nan. I think I'm just going to follow that. That line wasn't straight at all. The wind picks up and then it just disappears. It's like a teaser kind of the wind. Coat hangers in my way. Ugh. here see how close I can get over here
not going to work. I'm going to have to move that up more. These might snap. Okay, so we're going to move this up more. So I'm not going to fit snaps on here. There is perfect. I think that's going to be enough. This is why I did not sew this yet. <laughs> I needed to see first. You make it look so easy. It's not fair. I know, right? It is easy, though. I'm designing it. I'm having problems because that's what designers do. We have problems until we figure out the actual pattern. So now I've got it figured out. I wouldn't repeat these same mistakes. You see? But I was busy ripping and, you know. Now, let's see. Oh, perfect. Now I have lots of room. Ooh, I don't want that side showing. Ooh. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give that a press right now. Yeah, man, it's all our own design idea, and she's doing good. Okay. Now, so when this is hanging up like that, I will just put a clip up or a snap up here so this can snap up there. And I can just reach in and get my clothespins. Look at that. I think that turned out cute. All right. Perfect. It's oh, so perfect. Okay, done. Wow. You have some serious threads to cut, girl. She's not one of those girls that iron as you go. Well, because you're supposed to do it for me, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even realize this matched match your backsplash. Sure I know that. Look at her pillow. Is that not cool? Wow, it turned out gorgeous. So three-dimensional. We're, we're on a delay, so we're not saying that just yet. Oh, you will. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So I'm just wondering if maybe I should stitch there. Yeah. Oh, that is so nice. Turned oh. out pretty, eh? Beautiful job. Oh, beautiful pretty. job. Have to agree with you. She did good. Cindy says, oh my goodness, Ruby, Grandson remembered you singing to him and he hears your voice. Can you say hi to him, please? Oh, hi, Grandson. Aw, Cindy. That's awesome. That just melts my heart. Aw. He's called Anthony. Anthony, that's right. Oh, hi, Anthony. 
I'm glad you're back. Hi. Happy day, Anthony. What a sweetheart. And Nan says that 3D fabric is cool. Nan, she sold it all to herself, the little triangles. Cassie did. And she's yes. an absolute beginner sewer. I, of course, I'm sitting right here beside her, but she's still a very beginner sewer. Anthony is yelling at the TV. I'm here, I'm here. Aww, <laughs> Anthony. Now you're playing Bicker Bear with people in the week. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ruby, you could have a, um, where people come and stay with you for a week for one-on-one -on -one lessons. Yeah. You don't want me for a teacher. <laughs> well, look what a job Cassie's done. I know, but I get, I can get cranky with her and my sister. But I wouldn't be able to with clients. <laughs> yeah, but we're friends and family. I'd be like, oh my god, do I have to show you that again? <laughs> Give us a tea, I'll do it myself. This is okay. the last time I'm showing you. <laughs> Get it right. Ask my sister, she'll be she'll vouch that. Oh, my sisters were just as bad. They would take it off me. Rip it all out and say, do it again. Yep. So I'm just top Thank stitching. You. That's all I'm doing. Thank you so much. You have no idea how happy you've made him. Aww. That is awesome, Cindy. Your grandma is the best, Anthony. She's the best. Not just the crafters that you influence, you also the grandchildren. I am impressed with my own little cute little thing I made. Oh my gosh. It's stinking adorable. Now i got to try and get rid of the black marks now because I did iron it. Or color on it. So when are you taking orders for this? Oh, <laughs> Let me choke first. So I think Cassie's first in line, but yeah. Look at how stinking cute, guys. Nice. Oh, and it's really, uh, really uh, thick. So those clothespins with the weight, it's not going to pull it down. But what I like is the swivel hanger on it. That's what I like. Yes. Yep. Well, I love it. Now i got to put love some it, snaps. Love it. We're going to put snaps on it. Is we are going to but I love everything it. Ruby made. We're gonna snap it shut. Hey, who needs patterns to make stuff? When you could just use Pussy. your brain. You could just Pussy. use your brain. No. No. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna already decide. Where's me, Mark? Oh, Cindy's crying. He's getting a. Anthony is hugging her. Because Aww. of what you said. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, that is precious. Well, I'm glad he's giving grandma's hugs because there's nothing better than grandma's hugs. Oh, yeah. All right, I have to fold this in half. Actually, I'm going to do um, it from this side. Cindy says, I made envelope pillows for the first time. I cannot believe how much I've learned. I've never thought before because of all of you. All because of you. Aww. Aww. That's awesome, Cindy. You should put pictures in the group so we can see your envelope pillows. I would yes, love please. to see them. 
So. Oh, Chase is awake. Well, hello, sweethearts. So I'm figuring right about there looks like the center. Did he get his juice? Um, no. he gets milk when he wakes up. He was asking for juice just before he went for his nap. Yeah. Hi, baby boy. Okay. So, see right about there, I guess. Eh? So we're going to put a snap here and a snap here, and I'm going to explain why I'm putting two snaps. Because this one here is going to close it, and when I'm using it, this snap here, up here, when I have it, I'm just it's just going to hold my lid while I get reach in my hands and grab uh, the close pins out. Look at that. I gotta go get my snap maker. Wow. But I'm just way too hot. So now what do I do? This is amazing. Everybody loves this. So now you're gonna have to put borders on it because it's definitely not big enough. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to cut it, trim it down. Um, gosh, her and her. She does not trim threads. Yes, I do. What are all these threads then? I don't know. I guess not trim short enough for your liking. Oh, you mean by cutting off the thread from the spool, it's uh -huh. trimming threads to you? Yeah, is that not it? No. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> oh. Brushing your teeth? So that is her first time. That is brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Okay, just go sew that other one. I got to figure this one out. There has to be pieces put here on the bottom so you don't lose any of this because I don't want to hack it off. Yeah, it'll have yet. to be all white. Yes. Triangle. And not white in this. Well, yeah. And these will have to be the colored, colored. ones and then I'll trim it. Okay, because it, it's going to be shorter than it is wider. You don't want that. So I'm moving on? Yeah, just carry on to the other one. When I'm sitting out here tomorrow morning, I'll have all of this worked out. So put that aside with your stuff there. Now I'll show you how to sew that one. Those are ones you got to make flying geese. Lift up, up. Okay. So this one, you could see, Cassie, I already piled the whites. Remember how you have to fold it and make your centers? Mm -hmm. Okay. The only thing is, is you're going to sew from the inside this way out. So you're going to fold it like this. Yeah. I've already placed the white pieces. So make a fold. Just leave the pieces the way they are, because this is the right way. And then make a fold. And then cut the... Outside. No, sew these. Yeah, and then cut the outside. Yes, because you're making spools, you see? Mm -hmm. Same with this one. See, now you need to go this way, out. So you get the skinny part, it has to be inside where the block is. And then you work your way out. There's the skinny part, out. Skinny part, out. Okay? Mm -hmm. Just follow this block. Remember, the smaller part of the yeah, yeah. piece has to be there. I'm not dumb. Well, I'm just showing you because I don't want you to just buck it up. I gotta go get my snappy, 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 snap, snap. But I'm just gonna take a little break for a minute. You guys okay with that? No. So, what do you think of my. You wanna make her one like that? Mm -hmm. But it's gotta have snaps. I really wanted the magnets because it's a lot easier, but those magnets aren't strong enough to go through all these layers. Just not strong enough. But hey. Yeah, that's going to work out super cute. I love it. Mm. 
That one's going to be very close here. I'm probably going to move that up some. Let me see. Yeah, it's got to go here. Yep. Actually, I'm going to pin it. And I'm going to go get my snap maker. Because that's exactly where I want to poke it. Because when you hold it up, now it's nice and even. See? Now you can make your own hanger if you get some kind of an S hook uh, and get your hubby or you put it in a piece of wood, put a skinny piece of wood and cover it with batting and that's all you need is something in here comfortable because that way it isn't going to rip, rip on you. This was just an old hanger I had for years. I don't even honestly know where I got it. No clue. Just no clue. So, I'm going to put one there and the other one there. Okay. I'm just going to take a little break and have a quick little puff. I'm going to stop. Mom is leaving. She's got a telehealth session soon. She just have a wonderful Cass. day. And you too, Nan. Everyone. Cass. Here, just look at this diagram to make sure you don't muck it. Did you have a good sleep, my little love? Chase? Yeah, with your nail polish. What? Did he dump that? No. But it was definitely in the bed with him. Were you touching Grandma's nail polish remover? Uh-oh. Did your mom not move that box? My shelf? Did you move it? Yeah. And he still like reached he it. Still reach it. Oh, oh my god. Cassie's letting all the flies in. Appreciate that. Because you said you were going in so I didn't close it. You said you were going in 10 minutes ago when I came out. Yeah, I'm just taking a little break. <laughs> yeah, I see that. But that is why I didn't close it. Look, I'm allowed to, okay? Hey. Quite frankly, those are annoying to close. Why? Because I have to bend down. It's pretty difficult these days. <laughs> well, you got a big belly. Mm -hmm. You're prego. Hi. Mm -hmm. You guys should see her pictures she got, her pregnancy pictures, professional ones done. I'm going to post one. I love the one of her, Scott, with Chase looking down or looking up. Oh my god, it's so cute. Why is this happening? What's it happening? Pissing me off is what is happening. <clears throat> See, for a little small square like that, for me, because you're not using your enders and starters. I know you don't like using them, but you have to. No, they're annoying. Well, Cass, put up with it then. What were you going to say about little squares like this for you? I don't use, I don't fold them. I just sew them. I don't need to. Um, so when I poke through, I don't want to poke through the other side. I just want to. <coughs> yeah, I wasn't folding them when I made those fine jeans. Well, suck it up, buttercup. Mommy's giving Grandma a hard time, Chase. No, Grandma's giving me a hard time. Not me. Geez, Tia, where's my mouse? You sent that for loot. So what is a snap maker? What does it do? It's going to put snaps on here. Oh, so it's like a punch. Yeah, and you cool. just close it with, with a snap. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to get it right now. I've only seen the ones that you sew on. I've never seen a punch one.
Okay. Okay. It is really hot out here. Compare you walk in my house, it's so nice and cool in there. All right. Get her done and finished. And I guess we will use purple. So we need two snaps. So I need one, two of those, two of those, and I need another male end. Right there. So there's one, two, three. All right. This on up. Make a lot. I don't know. I want to iron these off. These black knots. Hi, Hi sweetheart. Hi, baby. Hey. I didn't mean to iron my ruler. <laughs> I think I found the right one. What are you looking for? Uh, just put a link in for the snap maker that you're using. Oh, okay. Hi, Jamal. Hi, Jamal. Okay. Now. Papa, you see Papa? I forgot Papa's cart in 
Wow, that simple. Yep, that simple. Oh, Jeff was supposed to build me a piece of wood to put this clamp in. So I need this one to clip into there. God. not going in yet. There we go. So when I'm working in it, look at that. We got one too many. Oh you dirty kitten. done that once. He only does that when Jeff gets home. What? He's doing like that. Why? I don't know. He does it every day. Jeff to pick him up. Yeah. So okay. Jeff pick him up? Yeah, with the broom. So there we go. Look at that. That wow. is super cute. See that? So when you're using it, you pull a snap up. See that snap? You snap it into there, look, and then you let your clothespins open. You're going to make Margaret one? Mm -hmm. So she's going to make her mother one. <laughs> so isn't this special? You're so smart. I love it. I really think it turned out cute. I just don't have my clothespins yet for it because I have to buy new ones. I haven't had clothespins in years. That is super pretty. I really like it. It's not meant for outside. It's not vinyl, so you can't leave it. I don't leave my clothespins outside anyways because if they get wet and you leave them in the bag, they get all moldy. And I don't know if you noticed that, but clothespins get moldy. That's one of the main reasons oh, I don't leave them that's outside. That's right, because they're wood. Yes, they do. They turn all blocky green. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very pleased with this, even though it took me a little, you know, a little bit it of a time. It looks awesome. And it, I don't know. I, it's, it does. It's going to hang up. I love that. I'll just clip it onto my clothesline and grab my clothespins. So there you go. So what's next on the how to Tomorrow, do this? Tomorrow we're going to make stuffed alphabets for my grandson. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to make A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way up to X. And uh, I'm going to stuff them. They're not going to be big, but he's going to know. I'm going to print off uh, print off the uh, alphabet, but big, big alphabets. Enough that I can do a quarter yeah. inch seam all the way around, stuff them all inside, 
and then sew them up. I'll probably just machine sew them. I'm not going to get picky. They're just alphabets. So that's on our agenda for tomorrow. Yeah. How large will they be, Ruby? I'm not sure, Mary. I'm going to go on my printer. And once I get the whole alphabet made, I will save all of the pictures and I'll post them in the group if anyone else wants to make them for their grandkids. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not bad also. <laughs> I, might, I might make two sets, one for home and here and one for mums to take home. Cool. Because cool. he likes That's his That's a alphabet. good idea. It is. And it, I don't know, I just, and when Chase is done with them, her new baby can play with them when they get old enough. Oh, yeah. 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 So I'm going to go and dig in my fabrics. I've got all kinds of uh, five-inch squares. I may just use a bunch of five-inch squares. And I want to kind of color coordinate, like make all different colors because he likes to say his colors and he likes to say his alphabets and his numbers. That's another thing. The alphabets and the numbers have to go. Set a number. Wow, that's perfect. Yeah. <coughs> and kids like bright colors. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. So, yeah. The bay went over the mountain. Like, if I had lace, I could trim this all in lace. But this is a close pin bag, and I didn't want it fancy because nobody's going to see it. Because this will just hang in my closet in my craft room. So, every time I do laundry to hang outside, I could take my clothes pin bag out of my closet off the line because there's nothing hanging in there. There's just hangers in there. And I'll just hang this up in there. And I'm pretty sure it's going to hold a good, good. But do you, do you have like a mud room before you step outside? A mud room? Yeah, or an entryway before you step out in the backyard? Yes, I have a solarium. You should hang in there somewhere. Yeah, I might just hang them because there's hooks in there too. Yeah, I just don't want them outside because the sun beams in there. There's a screen. It's all screened in, but the sun still goes in there. Because yeah. right now I got all the curtains open in the solarium. So, yeah. But this, they are not left, meant to left outside. I don't intend on leaving my clothespins outside because they do go moldy. Unless you get them wet, yeah. take them out of the bag, dry your bag out, and lay all your clothespins out and let them dry naturally so that they don't get moldy. Oh, that's true. <laughs> if that does happen. You know, sometimes you hang your clothes out, the sun's shining, beautiful day, all of a sudden you go in the house, it starts pouring rain. You don't get to your clothes. Oh, yeah. In. Yeah. You just don't get to your I've clothes. Seen this weather. Yes. I've seen this weather. Yes. So you don't get to your clothes in time and your clothespins are all wet. So I just, I usually just lay them all out and let them dry. And they don't take long to dry. So um, a pant hanger, you know, a pair of pants, they have yeah. a swivel hook like this as well. The pant hangers from the buck store. The only thing is, is they got those two little clips to clip on. Um, you could always do it that way or get someone to cut those clips off for you, but I don't know how. Because I was looking at them and I'm like, wow, these are really... I don't have those, there's like six little clips. I hang my diamond paintings on there to stretch them out. Yeah. That's a good idea too. It's good for like quilts as well. Yeah. Because they are pretty strong. They sure are. So yeah, there's our, uh, there's our uh, something new today too. That. Nobody's, Perfect. Yep, my own Another design. Another feather in your cap. Out. My own design. We need to get you a stamp for Ruby's designs, so nobody can. Yeah. Make it. yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. I was going to make box corners, you know, just so that they had, but then the seam on the inside, there would have been a seam inside here had I done it that yeah. way. Oh, look, it didn't even sew closed. Okay. Ooh, it got a little too close over there. 
I better check all of this. check anywhere else poke a hole nope it was just that side the fabric slid underneath so it kind of made it hard to see but it's okay yeah. now it's all better easy fix oh it's all better all better i can't wait till my new cutting board comes this one is look at it it is so warped that when i cut it's warped everywhere when i cut with this look it cuts that warp line <laughs> makes it very oh, well wow. yeah i can't cut straight with it i bought a new one it's a fiskers it's gray i just it what i bought size it did you get a fiskers uh self-healing cutting mat it's uh 24 by 36, the same size as this one. Mm -hmm. This Ulfa mat, this one here I've had for, I bet you going on 12 years. And believe me, it's it's got deep cuts in it. They don't, they'll never go away. So, yeah. yeah. I don't think any of the mats are completely cut through nope mind you i've never cut through this that's it's a little soft healing one yes but they don't after time there's so many times cutting over the same hole same thing that the hole just gets bigger and bigger and bigger eventually it doesn't yeah, that's true. it just doesn't seal anymore and they tell you that at least once a year to put it in hot soapy water, warm soapy water in a bathtub, and it helps heal um, some of the cuts. Even this one yeah. here, it's even broken right here. It's it's I broke it a long time ago too. It's cracked right across here. So yeah, I'm. So how long did you have that one? About twelve years now. Austin oh, Thailand. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you gotta think. Twelve years of cutting on this mat. It's been, it's been cut on, and it's it's toast. It's no good anymore. And the one you have inside is white. Yes, but that is not a self-healing mat. That one I have cut right through it many places. Oh wow! Yeah, it is called a dressmaker's mat. So be careful you don't ever buy a dressmaker's mat because they're not self-healing. Um, well, I have that same white one in my, on my table. Yep. And I did not See, know Cass, you get this one not self-healing. This is just a little smaller one for trimming. If you don't want to pull the big one out. Look. What'd you do? Didn't do anything. Look. Yeah, that one. Beautiful. I ordered me my new Fiskers uh, rotary mats. I love those. Look. <laughs> Look at all the cuts. So my daughter can take them and She'll be able to use them for all fussy cuts and little, little things like that. It's been well used. It has. Oh, yeah. Yep, but it still works fine. Cassie can have it for her stash. This one in the 12, the 14 by 14. I gave, I'm giving these to her. I bet you could soak that one, too. I tried. Nope. <laughs> Now, I never had those as long as I had this. Those Fisker cut it, those rotary cutters, I had those for about, I don't know, eight years. They've been well used too. 
Yeah. Your cutting mats don't last forever. Even though the people say they do, they do not. Eventually, they just, from repeated and repetitive cutting, because it used to, this used to be the only thing I ever cut on when I was doing rag quilts. So this has got, this goes back many years, cutting on here wow. on rag quilts. And I cut for three people on here every time. Because I had to cut out all the ladies' quilts. And then I went to Fabricland. I was looking at this mat where I originally bought it. And I got it for half price, half of the 150 what, something years ago? It's 270 something dollars there now for this stupid mat. Oh my 75. god. Wow. Yep. And that, that white one I have on my desk. That's not even a self-healing mat. They want $348 for that white one. And I paid 80-something bucks for mine from Amazon.com. Oh, I don't remember paying that much for mine. No, I mean, I paid that Canadian, though. So you would have paid 60-something. Yeah, I have a... Uh, I, I go to Tuesday morning and they always have good deals on that. I have a new 18 by 24 one coming and a new, this one coming, new cutters or new mats just because these are, these are toast. I can't cut straight lines on this anymore. It's making them kind of wonky. No matter how hard I push, yeah. I can't push over these big lumps. They're like, that's not good. No. Nope. And I can't use the one in my craft room because the rotary cutter goes right through it. That's meant for just measuring. It's not meant to cut on. I well, I'm glad you told me because I had no idea. Yeah. Don't press hard. You can use your rotary cutter on it, but don't press hard. I press hard because I have to cut through layers, right? And when I've cut right. through layers, it went right through. And of course, every time I needed that measurement, I was cutting it. The rotary cutter was pushing the fabric in that cut. So I can't use that mat anymore. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to get going here. It is so damn hot out here, I can't take it. I don't blame you. Jeff isn't even coming out here. He's not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the tutorial, Ruby. That was fun. Oh, I'm glad you were here for it. I'm glad everyone was here. And I hope everybody that hangs their laundry out and has no... Um... Oh, Martha's back and we're just leaving now. Martha, I'm all finished. Look at my clothes. I can I can end you go. So you open it up, you put your clothes pins in, so when it's hung up, you just snap this here so you can reach in and grab your clothes pins while it's hanging up. You see? So the flap stays hung up. And then when you're done, just put your clothes pins back and close it back up. So that's my clothes pin bag. A little bit of a struggle today, but I got her done. And I don't mind it. It's all purple and white. I love it. Lots of room for clothespins. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Mary. All right, guys. You take care. Have a great rest of your day. I'm getting out of this heat. I'm dying in here. So I'll I'm see you all tomorrow. You and when I get those alphabets done, I'll post them in the group. And you guys, I want to try them out. And you guys can, um, that's tomorrow's tutorial. So.